I've been watching a bunch of content. I've been watching a bunch of Tesla Cybertruck content, specifically this review from Top Gear. And I have to be fucking honest, that thing is fucking gorgeous. Like, let's not lie. Like, and in just in terms of just a, like um an inspirational, aspirational piece of engineering, it's just nice to see something like this on the road. And I think what this might end up doing for cars going forward, especially many car design, what you end up seeing, I think, hopefully, I want to see more car manufacturers basically make more concept cars you know because i remember that's one thing that used to annoy me when i was doing industrial design product design and shit in school and i was doing a little bit of automobile design and shit right i used to always get annoyed when you'd be you know reading through books and stuff or you'd go to certain exhibitions or whatnot or shows and you'd see all these amazing concept cars um that you know different brands you know like car companies like mercedes bmw porsche lamborghini had put together even some smaller ones like voxel volkswagen sorry voxel and stuff right and you see these amazing concept cars and there'd be no those concept cars would never make it into production and it's always fucking piss me off because the concept cars look immensely cool immensely interesting and would really really move things like really move the needle but they never ever put them into production they'd always take like a small element of a concept car maybe they'll take the seats the wing mirrors um paneling um seats whatever they'll take a tiny bit of the concept car and then they'll put that in production it's really annoying so i'm hoping with the fucking Tesla Cybertruck, what you end up seeing is more concept cars being made into production cars. That's the one thing that I actually hope. Another thing I noticed also is this. I've noticed that in most of the Tesla Cybertruck content, especially reviews and stuff when they're interviewing people, because on this particular Top Gear review, they interviewed a lot of the engineers who were working on the, sh on the fucking car. I'm interested to see, there's not a lot of content that includes Elon in this. It's a lot of, you know, car guys basically interviewing Tesla in engineers and designers and stuff. But it's not a lot of Elon content, which is good, obviously, because a lot of people don't really like Elon, right? But I also have seen, in my opinion, I've seen a shift in the conversation around him because whenever people are focusing on the start, you know, um, SpaceX and the Starship, Tesla and their, their fleet of cars, what he's doing with the fucking AI, the gro all this sort of shit. That's when it's interesting and people kind of like him. But the moment he starts to speak himself, it goes a bit shitty. So the point I was making about this is this. It's Elon Musk is proof that if you actually create good product, you can say what the fuck you want. Obviously, it helps that he's got fucking, you know, he's got more money than God. That obviously helps. But if the product is good, even if people don't like you, they will still put up with you because the product is good. Because like it or not, I'm going to be saying it. I'll die on this hill. I think Twitter's much better now since Elon bought it just because there's more crazies on there. Like that clip I played of you of that guy saying, if a girl doesn't give up the, the pussy for fucking 30 pounds, he's not letting her leave his house. You don't get that kind of content on Twitter unless Elon takes over. Do you know what I mean? Lots of people are getting banned. So all the crazies that were banned on Twitter have all come back again. And I fucking love it personally so twitter's basically been improved the stuff he's doing with spacex is fucking amazing the tesla stuff that he's you know putting out there even if it doesn't really move the needle and it's not environmentally safe and all this malarkey just seeing these cars on the road is a fucking feat in itself and it's if anything what tesla has done has i think made the other car companies respond and now everybody's got ev right ev was like a, a thing that people kind of scoffed at but now most cars on the road well not most car but most car companies have at least one ev car in their fleet right um so i love seeing all that sort of stuff so i love i love all of that going forward and i think it's again proof that if the product that you do is good most people will just ignore how much of a prick you are because it's undeniable that Elon Musk is a bit of a dickhead, right? As much as I love the guy, he is a bit of a prat. Like, just objectively speaking, he's a bit of a prat. But the work is so good, you can ignore the pratness because the work is good. And again, no one's saying he's designing the spaceships. No one's saying he designs the cars, but you know he's the leader of these companies. So obviously, you know, he has some involvement in there and people appreciate the product because the product's fucking undeniable. And you can't say, again, you might not like the, the look of the fucking Tesla Cybertruck. I get it. But objectively speaking, seeing these things go down the street is going to be fucking wild. The only thing that's annoying about this is that most likely we won't end up having it in the UK. A lot of people have been saying that basically our road safety laws, it's funny, isn't it? The UK, no, the European and UK road safety laws are incredibly strict, way more stricter than you guys in the States. So we probably won't see a Tesla Cybertruck in the UK anytime soon. Like, it's fucking annoying. So whatever. But still, fucking beautiful, 
um pickup truck i think so personally objectively looking at it it's fucking amazing um i just love even the view of it from the top down it looks fucking so weird like this look at the amount of glass on the top there like that just looks fucking incredible and that shell casing that kind of goes that kind of retractable shell casing that goes over the back bit at there like it's just i don't know there's when it comes to a design piece and manufacturing piece and putting it together and obviously manufacturing it to scale you know the fucking steel that they had to make themselves that they couldn't just buy off the shelf and shit it's fucking a marvel really to just to, 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 to see it all in that detail the only problem is obviously the prices are hilarious like i think when elon was doing the price thing on the presentation he's i think originally specs was going to be like 40k and now it's like 100 grand it's like the entry price so it's like it's a big jump in it it came a bit late and it's also incredibly expensive but i'm eager to see them on the road and i'm hoping fingers crossed going forward now a lot of these other car companies will start making concept cars into production cars because we just want to see you want to see cool interesting stuff on the roads man it's just annoying when everyone gets everyone has the same shape of car it's all fucking boring they're all white it's fucking annoying so yeah tyson cybertruck i'm loving it i've changed my mind on it again what are you guys saying here in the chat what's what's happening here uh this is cyber truck logo is kind of cringe I, I quite like the logo I'm, I'm not gonna lie i like the logo i think um the, the, the designer of franz right where is he i think there's this designer of franz was wearing the t-shirt with the logo on it i quite like the Tesla. it's interesting though for instance like this is the clip look at this bit right so this is the first sketch initial concept of the tesla cybertruck isn't it quite cool that the production car is very similar to the original concept if anything i quite like the original concept here the back the wheel arch at the uh, of the rear wheel is kind of exposed you know i really really lo love it you know i kind of like this exposed bit but it's quite cool that the actual concept car looks exactly like the fucking production car but the logo t-shirt thing i quite like the logo t-shirt what do you guys think i quite like that logo that's that's a cyber truck logo an interesting thing about it as well is that the Tesla Cybertruck doesn't have any Tesla branding in it. The guy in the review thing was saying there's no Tesla branding. It's just that that logo here and Cybertruck, you know, as well somewhere. But there's no Tesla um, logos anywhere on the truck, which is quite interesting. I quite like it. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, what are you guys saying here? Careful with the Top Gear video. They might catch a, catch you a strike. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, I'm going to pause that. Very, very, very astute observation there, Ketan Moses. Appreciate you, brother. Koyla, give AZ the bussy for a door, da <laughs> a door dash and a cigarette. Koyla, man, you got to fucking value your bussy a little bit better than that, mate. Fucking hell. A door dash and a cigarette, you know. The crazy thing is there's probably people out there giving it up for far less. <laughs> 